Today we're going to look at unit rate and slope and the connections between unit rate and slope. So both are expressions of the rate of change. Both can be calculated by finding the change in y divided by the change in x. Unit rate specifically is per one unit. So example of that would be miles per gallon. Okay, for one gallon, how many miles can we get? So that's an example of a unit rate. Slope is usually expressed as a whole number, which would be for one unit because the denominator there would be for one. And sometimes we just can't avoid it. It's a ratio in lowest terms. So those are some things that you need to write up there. Both are expressions of the rate of change. Both can be calculated by finding the change in y divided by the change in x. That's what they both have in common. Unit rate is for one unit. That's specific to unit rate. And then slope can be a whole number or it can be a ratio in lo lowest terms there. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here on our different representation. So I have a graph. And on my graph, I can find the slope. So since this is a proportional relationship, it's going to be a straight line through my origin here. I can go to this point 5 and 20. And I can do my y divided by x because it's a proportion. And do 20 dollars for five hours of dog walking. And that will give me my slope is four. Okay, and if I go here, this would be for one. That means this point is one, four, meaning that whomever this person is, is earning four dollars per hour which would be my unit rate, $4 per hour of walking a dog or dogs. Okay, so the unit rate can be found here. Now, this one wasn't easy to find, so we used the 20 divided by five to find our unit rate. So we could still use 20 divided by five to get our unit rate, okay? So there it is from a slope and a unit rate from a graph. Now from an equation. Slope is our coefficient to the x, not the x itself, okay? So the coefficient is the number to the left of the x. So here our slope is four. And the unit rate, let's say, if we go back to the previous example, this would be the equation for the previous graph. That would be still $4 per hour of dog walking. And then for our last example here, we have a table. So for our table to find slope, this one is a proportion. So here we could still do y divided by x. So zero divided by zero is not super helpful, but six divided by one and 12 divided by two. Both of those simplify to slope 
is 6. So over here it would be, for a unit rate, a 6 per unit. Okay, see here, 6 per unit. And that's what we have for slope and unit rate.